Okay, so let's see the practical application we are going to develop now. Normal user, see, so he doesn't get the option to uh, insert any data, right? But if I log in as admin, if I log in as admin, see, I get it. Then if I put department number 50, say housekeeping departments, some department, right? And say second floor, this should work, right? So save. Okay, save successful and clears the screen. Awesome guys. So this is the end of the lesson. So you will see the how department number 50 housekeeping uh, will be in the data base, right? So if you go here, check the table, right? Okay. okay, so let's continue to develop this application now. Insert, right? So let's keep that in mind. So what's next guys? Just recall your memory. So if you, when you have the data set, where do you touch next? Re recall your previous lesson, the DAO, right? the DAO isn't it awesome awesome because you had the user DAO you remember where you um, had where you're calling the uh, the adapters right same here now I'm going to create a department DAO and the interface of it right so uh, so I department DAO right so you remember what we did in the last class right awesome so new item uh, right interface right I department DAO data access object cool department DAO add it we'll make it public otherwise uh, we'll not be able to use it from outside right public all good and then immediately let's create the implementation right so add the implementation of this uh, interface right okay my friend so you remove the word I at the front and then say I am just to say it's implementation and once again let's make it public my friends and immediately let's uh, make sure that it imp imp implements the i department DAO and and in the department DAO I will i department DAO I will declare my uh, DAO methods right so what do I want uh, in the DAO so what did we had in the user DAO interface right so get get in the user but this time I want to insert department right so so insert department record isn't it right not 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 get get the user right so insert department record so what I'm going to say is I'm going to write that method here let's say let's start with void right say void insert department right simple insert department department something uh, in terms of data if you remember our previous lesson right so you insert the department but to insert the department right you need to know the department number so which will come from the form string department name string department location my friends right awesome so the, the department number name and the location awesome so then let's quickly go and implement this right so insert department uh, so we have to implement this in the uh, DAO implementation, right? So let's go to the department DAO department DAO implementation. So in this, we have to implement this method. So you know the theory because we have done lesson five uh, five B, right? The previous one. So always you had look at it before this, right? Let's say it's public, right? Okay. So uh, right insert, right? So so then the DAO should connect if you remember the user DAO what did it do after that just look at this the user DAO will create an object of the the adapter right and call the adapter method right so let's copy this two because now we know the concept so we then it's easy for you to you know just copy it and uh, modify it right because we have done it once in lesson 5b so the user DAO then the department DAO implementation right okay cool right but this time it's not the uh, it's not what uh, one second so it's it's not the tape let's see give me a second so let's look at the user DAO implementation so it has to use the model remember look at the user DAO so it says in the model of course you are in the model but the user data set table adapter similarly uh, it, you have to import uh, this time the department data set right so let me do like this so I just copied it for my reference but let's try let's type it right so 
in the department implementation let's keep this first two lines I just copied it but what do you want right uh, tab department right so the department right so the table department so where is it it's in the department data set uh, table user where is it where is it we did this right so this one table adapter not the manager this one department table adapter right so we got the department so you have to create department table adapter right so you have to say department table adapter see this one the department table adapts then it will import right see it imported at the top right so obj department table adapters I'm just keeping this two just as a reference and I will delete it right new department table adapter right and then what did you do after that from that you call the method right so with the method you generated in the data set right so what's the method we generate in the data set right if you can't remember go and have a look at the data set look at the data set it's insert query right see insert query so that's what I have to call now right so I have to say dot insert query see the method right and what is it returns look at the return type it returns a integer you can have a look at in the code as well see it says it returns integer and I have to pass the department number name and the location awesome right so so knowing it returns an integer I will store the return value in let us say I uh, uh, insert status insert status right and then I will be passing the parameters the uh, number department name how about calling it as DPT DEPT number D we we'll just call it like that is it DEPT or department all good doesn't matter DE so the department number then the department name my friends right and the department location right you are doing good my friends you are doing good awesome so this is what I wanted right so I'm going to delete this because I'm I just took it as a reference right so always uh, when you do it once and it works it's good to get it as a reference so now you know this will insert the data then what did you do in the uh, user DAO implementation just look at what you did there uh, in the earlier right in the last lesson so after you call that what have we done we have looked at the count and we have checked whether the count is zero meaning it's there's no record if not we have done some other data so what should we do in case of um, in the case of the uh, department DAO what should we do right so in the department DAO what we are we are getting an integer so we can check that status and figure out whether the insertion is successful or not right so we can check the status so now we need to look at the API and figure out what the status is right I mean what this status would be right let's 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 have a look at it guys so uh, before we go into the API if you look at that uh, the data set if you look at the department if you look at the method which is auto generated just if you uh, move your eyes through this you can see where the real uh, insertion happens is here right in this line right so now remember we didn't write this this is auto generated but now you understand when you say insert query this is the command it's running right it's on the command it's running execute non query right so so that means you have to look at that in the API so you have to look at system or data SQL client SQL command execute non query then only you will see what it returns and that is what this will be returned by this auto generated method right hope it's clear to you right so let's go and look at the SQL uh, command execute non query so that is what you have to look in the API right so in the MSDN so you have to go to MSDN and you have to say once again you have to say um, the SQL command right so we are training you to become developers right so we are showing how developers are doing things because uh, we uh, uh, we are developers right so we want you to become developers so this channel is uh, supported by developers right so um, we want you to become developers as ASAP right so that's why we are showing it like how we do you know as developers. so then the execute non query method so either you can say uh, um, C sharp right SQL command if in fact you can direct if you want type the command even what execute none query execute none query right or if not you can type the first one right so then you can directly go into that from the Microsoft Docs and see what it does right so it returns the number of rows affected so it, that means if you insert 
one data it says one if you insert five it says it returns five and if it is not inserting anything by any chance if there's an error or something then number of rows affected will be zero right right number of rows affected will be zero right it, it can get exceptions also if you are not familiar about exceptions look at our uh, other video lesson on exceptions right it gives some examples it's how to use it right so let's use that information so the number of rows affected so I'm doing a simple thing so what I'm going to do then is after figuring out that uh, so if it is zero which means it has not inserted there's none, none of the rows so then I will say msgbox message message box Now, so here we should not put any message, right? Because this is the DAO, the messages, everything should be handled by the logic class, right? So what I have to do here is, I should not even check this, right? Because um, what this does is it inserts and it lets you know whether it inserted or not. That is the purpose of the DAO. So the DAO will not have any logic, in meaning in the DAO, you will not put any messages or anything like that. So basically what I have to do is, let's see what we have done in the previous DAO right so in the user DAO right see it, what it did was it just took the data and returned the data right it's it's not doing any messages or anything right it does what it's supposed to do so when you search it needs to give a user so it, it search and gives the user now when you insert it just should say whether it inserted or not meaning you don't put this if you just say return the status right and and maybe the layer about this the way the logic layer should deal with that right this just inserts in that case the return type should be in and then the interface also you have to modify you know you understand that the interface also you have to modify so that the interface uh, right should say it's returning a it all good all good my friends right you are moving fast we are moving fast oh, good so I got the DAO insert method right then the DAO should be called by the logic class similar to what you did in the previous so the user DAO in last week you remember user DAO was called by the user logic so now I have to have a department logic right and the I department uh, uh, I department logic interface right so now